Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to welcome my old subscribers and my new ones. Um, and today I wanted to film a video on my makeup basket for this week. I did um, miss last week's basket, well actually the filming. I did put a basket together and I did use that basket all this week, or all last week, I'm sorry. So <clears throat> I do find that it is very helpful for me to kind of use more of makeup that has been taken a back seat to other makeups, other makeups, other stuff. But um, I wanted to mention some of the stuff that I did use last week um, in my basket that I didn't get to show. Um, so for the foundation, I used my um, CoverGirl Amber Glow. And I have this Mark Got the Goods that I wanted to finish. But it's really dewy and it transfers a lot. So it, it's messy. Like it touches like one thing and it's all over. So I'm going to bite the bullet and I probably probably will just get rid of this. I'm going to try one more time with the um, e.l.f. HD setting powder, the yellow one, to see if that can set it and it not move. But mm, one one day with this and I was over it. I have been liking this um, Amber Glow from the Queen collection. It's a 3-in-1 Flawless. I liked it when I initially got it and then I didn't like it. And what I've noticed, the time that I didn't like it was in the summer. So this I will use for fall and winter, maybe spring, not summer. Because in the summer, my face just gets, my oils get out of control. But that was last week. And the two eyeshadow palettes that I did use or pick to use was this Tarte Feminine Natural palette. I think I'm saying it right. But this is what the colors look like. And I used a lot of the colors from this on, well, I used everything except for this one. There's no really good transition color in this, but I did use this like burnt brown, reddish brown color as a transition color. Um, this is my first, I think this was my first Tarte eyeshadow palette. And this is what made me really, really like Tarte eyeshadows. But I feel like these might be a little more buttery than some of the other ones that I just got. But I really, really like this palette. And I love these colors in here. And then I whipped out my Stila um, In The Moment eyeshadow palette. Is this In The Moment? Yeah. And there, the colors in here are very, very pretty. However, there's no transition color. And this is a palette that has been taken a back seat. So I wanted to give it some love. So whip that one out. And then for my blush and bronzer, I uh, wanted to use this, which is the Benefit Cheeky Sweet Spot. And the reason why I wanted to use this is because the colors in here, I have to build them up. So I feel like they're going to be best used for me in the winter um, when my skin is not as dark because in the summer I get more red and I don't think these will show up but this is um, what it looks like and I will say that I do love the bronzer the hula bronzer it does show up on my skin um, I think it's because it has a little more of a gray cast to it cool tone but it, it I like it it's a very natural look um and the blushes I do like this what is this one um dandy lion it's buildable but it does show on my face um and I like rocketeer but I have to build it up too um Bella Bamba and Coralie so I don't really reach for as much but I do reach for dandy lion and, and rocketeer and hula so give, I gave this palette some love and that was it for last week. So let's jump into the things that I'm going to use this week. Um, I'm going to do the eyeshadows first. Uh, <clears throat> I decided to choose the Too Faced Everything Nice palette and 
and it's just for the eyeshadows. It does have the crease color, eyebrow color, eyebrow. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. But anyways, this is my palette. I don't care too much for the blushes in this palette. They're very... Not as pigmented as you would think they would be. Um, you see a lot more of the gold reflex in it more than the actual blush. I'm going to try the Chocolate Soleil. It doesn't really show up on my face, but it'll probably show up more in the winter than it will in the summer. But the inner light, um, I do like. And that's that. Then I'm going to use my um, Tarte eyeshadows from the 3 in 1 uh, set that I got from QVC. This is the purple ones. Super pretty. And these are the colors from the green one. And I'm pretty sure between all these eyeshadows I can find a look. A different look every day. <clears throat> oh, I'll see. So, I jumped in to the eyeshadows but I should have did it by face but primers are going to be of course this will be every day Smashbox photo finish pore minimizing in the Rimmel lasting finish primer and eh, it's alright but I need one I like this one just to be pore area and then this one grab my whole face and so I'm going to continue to use this foundation, 3-in-1 from Queen Cover Girl, because I would really want to get rid of I mean, I want to use it all up, especially ex since it's expired. But um, finishing powder, um, I'm going to use the Black Radiance um, Golden Almond Finish. I did go and get the lighter one. It's three of them that are out. I had the medium one, and I think I used that in my first basket. But... To me, I feel like it gave, it's giving off a lot more red than I wanted. And it's probably going to be a good powder for my summer color. But I think this one, <clears throat> which is the lighter one, is a good powder for my winter color. And for highlights, I'm going to use my Hourglass. Um, I'm kind of going to mix it between these two, which is dim light and incandescent light. Highlight. Um, I'm going to set my eyes with my Makeup Forever Low Setting Powder, which I don't have. I love this to set my under eye. So, speaking of under eye... I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and this is in Neutralizer. This I'll put on underneath my foundation, and then I'm going to use the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. Doesn't, I think it's the darkest one, um, concealer to conceal. This one is okay. It I it I okay. Next thing I'm going to use um my Bahama Mama for my bronzer and I'm gonna try the bronzer chocolate soleil in the Too Faced palette and then I'm gonna still use my Tarte camera wall lights camo lashes mascara i'm gonna use this up and use this until it's up because i really really like this even though i do have others to try i just don't want to have a whole bunch opened and then i'm wasting money and product all right and laura lash um liner is going to be this um uh, Autograph pencil by Kat Von D in the color Immortal Love. It's a, just a super dark purple. Super dark brown. And 
for my upper lash, I'm going to continue to use the Physicians Formula um, Eye Booster, which this is holy grail for me. At the moment, I have one here, one from our travel bag. And then eye primer is going to be the NYX um, HD uh, primer, eyelid primer. I've had this for a very long time. Love it. And my choices for blush are three tired blushes. <clears throat> and to me, I kind of consider these as my, of course, my winter blushes because I don't think that you'll be able to see them too much in the summer. So first color is um, Flush, which is a pinky berry color. But again, I've mentioned this before, Tarte's blushes kind of, um, they warm up to your skin tone. So you put some on and eventually, I mean, it just warms up. So you'll see it. It's hard to explain. The next one is um, Savored. And I got this in the Q QVC package. But it's just like a terracotta terracotta kind of color very pretty and then the last one is captivating which is a warm peach and for my eyebrows I'm going to use this Ofra universal eyebrow pencil that I got in my Ipsy bag <clears throat> it's kind of like a color and wax mixed together kind of neat and I have three options for my lips and um, their combos so the first combo is wet and wilds bear it all mixed with Jordana's twist and shine and I don't know what color this is, but it's like the nude color, like the one, the very first one. So, <clears throat> these two together, and I wore these two together last week, and I really like them. And the next combo is Jordana's Terra, Terra Crave, and... Uh, wet and Wilds Think Pink. So, Think Pink, Terra Crave, mix it together, you have your own beautiful color. And then, the last combo is Jordana's Honey, Honey Love, and wet and wilds in the flesh so basically the wet and wild gives the lasting color and the Jordana gives it a little more shine and glitter without having it be glossy so alright you guys that was my makeup basket for this week um, these are items that I'm only going to use for this week. No other eyeshadow palettes, no other blushes, no other anything. Just these items. So, anyways, thank you for watching my video and stay tuned for more. Bye.